number of local businesses in the downtown core have opened their windows to artisans during the Canada Winter Games. It's all a part of a Community Arts Council project and it's going to leave a legacy behind after the games are over. A closer look inside the front window of Northern Hardware shows artist Carla Obishon Joseph hard at work on a painting about an old First Nations story called Turtle Island. I'm Métis and my husband's um, Coast Salish, so I try to teach our children the two styles, so that's why I'm always mixing, well, a lot of my pieces I mix them together. Painting comes easily to Obishan Joseph and she is able to work quickly on her pieces, which include a number of colourful panels that adorn the store's windows. It's called Artnerships and our goal was to match 15 artists with 15 local downtown businesses and have the artists be showcased and featured within the business. So if you walk around downtown you'll see quite a few artists being featured in the front windows of 15 different uh, businesses. The artist is also showing her work through the Winter Games at the Kletle Tene Pavilion and is happy with how much exposure she's getting. It was just to get my art more out there so a lot of people have came to where I'm set up at the pavilion to tell me how they just love the display at the Northern. So I've been getting a lot of different people like from different places seeing my art so it's getting out there. After the games are over, the Arts Council is looking to continue to paint the downtown with visual art, now focusing on empty buildings. The next step with that program is we're going to be taking the artist's work into the vacant building. So instead of vacant windows that are boring and dismal, you're going to see artwork showcased in all of them.